Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back into Clutch's Nuggy Farm. Yeah, I know. We got tons and tons of chickens, like 10,000 chickens. I deep fried chicken nuggets, man. No, we've got lots of chickens, guys. It's first thing in the morning. You can see harvest is just completed. But we got still some work to do. Let me uh, go get the baler fired up here, and we'll talk about everything we've done so far. Look at this. Oh, man. this It's going to be a nice day today, I think. I think these clouds are all going to burn off. We did quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of harvesting on this already. I'm not going to tell you how much I got yet. You know, we're just using all the wheat for feed, right? Yeah, we got a lot of feed to make. Well, things didn't go as well as planned in some on the technical aspect. Don't worry, the harvest itself went smooth. But look at the straw I've got here. Um, yeah, yeah, you please eat all of the straw. Please, let's just take it nice and easy, nice and easy. Let's just jump this bale out and we'll see if we can get all the straw. Just nice and easy. Put her back in gear. And nice and easy, just try to get as much of this as we can, please. Ugh, so much straw. You know, it's a good thing. I, I need to go, I need to pick up a, uh, a bale trailer, actually. A, some kind of a, an auto load system, I think. There's a lot of bales here. I'm not going to pick these up with that little bobcat again, guys. We're going to pick this up the right way. We're going to get an auto load trailer and take care of all of this. But, man, this is, um, this is, uh, this is taking longer than the harvest did. I thought this field, in my mind, this field felt bigger than it actually was. What, what, what can I say? All right, guys, I need to take that back a little bit. You know what? This field is a lot bigger once you uh, once you get into it. And... That's what she said. <laughs> a little over 100 bales, I believe, by my rough estimate. I mean, I'm not great at counting, but there's, there's a lot of freaking bales back there. Holy. So I'm really hoping we just make a little bit of profit off this. Maybe it affords us to buy a, the, the bale trailer, at least. And then, you know, a little piece of more equipment we can use from now on. But it uh, looks, pretty, looks pretty good so far. A lot of bales, a little over 100 bales. Yeah, it should be a couple, a couple grand, right? And of course, if you guys missed the first episode on how we got here, starting with our truck and bobcat, make sure you guys uh, click the link up to the card there and uh, go check that out and how this all got started because this has turned out way better than I expected. This chicken farm, I'm telling you, chickens are the way to go right now. We're really doing it though, aren't we, buddy? Yeah. And of course, if you're one of our new subscribers to the channel, cheers to you guys. Welcome in. Good to have you guys here joining us for the videos hope you guys are uh, having a fantastic day but we got to get this field finished today and i'm trying to figure out what i got to do next what the heck do i do next now yeah we got to talk a little bit about um what we got off this field guys like i said i needed to get enough for feed did i get enough well like i said i can blame the fields were too small so you can guess right there so about 120 bales a little more than that actually is what we're finishing up with you guys but you know what we'll pick these up in a second i think we need to talk a little bit about how much well how much wheat we got off this for our feed for our chickens we've got 10,000 chickens in those two barns right over there 10,000. oh man i hate when you get well, like not quite a full bale look at this let's just grab a little more this is why you know i, I leave a little bit of straw on, on the field on purpose so that um i've got you see you got enough then right you got enough to fill up the last bale and you don't have to worry about it see this i did this on purpose did this on purpose totally on purpose <laughs> but yeah look at these two these two these chicken coos up here ten thousand between the two of them uh that ain't that ain't too shabby that's making us lots and lots of money per month but that many chickens eat a lot of feed uh, I think we figured out to be about 300,000 liters of farm sim units of of chicken food we need. We did, of course, manage to uh, put a, a decent amount in this. As you can see, we've got 109,000 liters of wheat. Farm sim units of wheat. Yeah, that's not going to be enough to feed them for the whole year. We're still going to need to buy wheat this year, unfortunately. It is what it is. There's nothing I can do about that. That's what we got this year. Now, I'm going to replant, of course, and I think, uh, I thought wheat was better for chickens, but I've been kind of informed that barley might be a better bet. Do you guys, do you guys like wheat? Barley? What, what do you guys like? What do you like better? Oh, look. Aw, he's so cute. Look at him. He's just a little baby chick. Or as some of you may call them, that's a nuggy right there. <laughs> uh. My cousin says the baby is very smart. Pump the brakes? I'll soft pump. That's the stupidest thing you ever heard in your life. I'd like to say, but it's impolite to talk politics at the breakfast table. I'd also like to say, but it's impolite to talk religions at the breakfast table. Well, mine is neither politics or religion, so I will say, the stupidest thing I ever heard in my life is that a baby is smart. <laughs> Anyways, that's uh, where we stand with that. Everything's looking good here. I'm going to sell off a couple more chickens. We've got full 5,000 in each, so I definitely do not want to overbreed them again and get 10,000 in one. That was bad news. So we'll sell off a bunch of those. I'm going to go buy... I gotta buy a trailer, guys. I need a I need to buy a trailer to pick all these bales up. See if we can find something in the used market. If not, I guess I'm just gonna have to I'm gonna bite the bullet and buy something. 
I need a new tractor as well. I need something a little bit bigger and more powerful than the International. The International's great, don't get me wrong. But I think our farm's at the size now where we can get out from the open station and get something maybe a little bit more on the modern side. Maybe? And I'd like to get some land. So that's going to happen today, all right? So we've got new tractor, new trailer, maybe some land. I think the rest we might be good with. Oh, I could use a trailer too. Yeah. Hmm. Something to think about. All right, we're starting off with, we got the Anderson Automobile trailer. Simple enough, right? Uh, it's really the only thing I got that can do what I want to do. To be honest with you, I mean, I've only got a truck. If I had a semi, I'd get something on a flat deck. But this, uh, this will work just fine with what we've got for now. We can use this going forward now. This cost us roughly, what, 51000 Um, Yeah, it's not the cheapest thing in the world for sure, but hey, it's not that bad either. We might be able to come close to paying for this just by picking up these bales. I don't think we're going to get all of it, but it's going to be pretty close, I think. So let me go pick up some of these bales. We'll see what kind of what kind of money we make off all of this. Because hopefully, it'd be nice if we could pay all this back right away, right? First load of 24 going in. Let's go for a drive. Of course, there is zero reason for me to keep these bales. I have no use for them right now at all. So uh, let's just sell them right off. It's pure profit. That's all I'm using these for. That's it. I just realized this tractor does not exactly have much for uh, lighting or beacons or, well, anything on it. So... Yeah, well, it's what, this is what happens when you're in the country, right? We'll stay on the shoulder. Don't worry. Don't just don't hit me, please. Please don't hit me. Oh, please see me. Please tell me you see me. <laughs> so I'm sneaking up back there. Ugh. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Come on, get up the hill. Let's go. Get up that hill. All right. Let's see what we get here. A little bit. A little bit of cash. A little cash in influx. Hopefully, really, really hoping to make a little bit. Of, like if I can get close to that fifty grand, we've got probably. Five trailers full. We're going to have to dump off here. This is the first one. What are we getting off this? Dump them all off. Come on, dump it all in there. Let's go. Yeah, it's not bad, right? We're going to get, you know, 10,000 10, bucks, say, give or take. Oh, 10,000 bucks. So you do the math on that. 10 times 5, that's 50,000. Last time I checked, that's a good sign, right? I think, uh, that, well, just that this hay or this hay the straw will pay for itself perfect not bad Forty-five thousand bucks and sold bales hey that ain't that almost paid for it i mean not quite but pretty close it almost paid for our brand new uh our new bale trailer that's that seems like a win to me so you guys i do clean my stuff up every once in a while anyways looks good we're gonna take care of this i gotta figure out we got a little bit of time now between time we need to replant uh, i think we got some field work we're gonna do and we gotta worry about our chickens of course that's the never-ending yeah, the never-ending story is dealing with 10,000 chickens, that's for sure. Throw down just a touch of lime, and then we can get to plant. Well, another month or so, at least. Well, guys, the 1566 has done us fairly well, but I think it's time we've got a, a, a sizable upgrade. Oh, wait, you guys can see that in the background. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's uh, it needed to happen. It was time. Time was here for us to get a fantastic new upgrade, I think. And uh, this... Unfortunately, was not on sale. We got a uh, case, a case, what a case, <laughs> disc hero were behind us. The speed tiller, the 465, of course. This uh, should make quick work of our field for, uh, well, tilling them up at least. I'm having a problem with seeding. For some reason, that direct drill we got over there is not direct drilling, so I need to cultivate first. Well, whatever. This is going to make life a little bit easier, at least in that sense. But this, the 340 case, CVX with all the bells and whistles. Oh, boy. This um, is a bit of an, just a bit of an upgrade. Just a tooch of an upgrade, I would say. L look at, I even got custom built floor mats for it. That's, that's pretty slick, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, custom floor mats in my brand new tractor. You got ripped off. Let's just connect her all up. There we go. Let's go, uh, let's go clean this field up. Now I've got enough cash. I probably could potentially go in and upgrade to another field. Uh, make another, like we, but we'd have to knock some trees down, unfortunately. But it's something I could consider doing. I'm on the fence still. Oh, it, would be, it would be nice to have a bit more field. We got the cash to do it, I think. Maybe we'll do it. We'll see. We'll see. We can. We might be able to till that up. I'm just gonna get this cleaned up for now. We'll take a look. We got the data work. We got. It's. It's not like like we've already discussed. This is not a huge field. So this here is all the terrain I was thinking about taking over. It looks fairly flat down that neck of the woods. It wouldn't be too difficult to run. It looks like. But we'll see. That's, uh, that's, we'll, we'll get this done first and we'll go from there. I'm a little bit uh, concerned with the fact that I can't seem to plant, direct drill anything. I thought I should be able on this. Worked in the past. I don't know what I've broken. Something's 
Something's not working on that plant or that cedar, I should say. Or any cedar, for that matter. But hey, whatever. We're we're making do with what we've got. Like I said, as long as I till this up first, we're fine. It's just bizarre that, uh, yeah, no direct drill for now, unfortunately. Which was the whole purpose I bought that thing originally. I don't know how I managed to break it. Unfortunately, it's cost me another $100,000 because I had to buy this. You know what? We're making things work. That's what I'm always... It's got to have plan B, guys. You always got to have plan B. I feel like I'm always on a plan C or D, but whatever. Um, anyways, let's just scoot around the edge here and uh, make our way back. All the way back around the chicken. You know what? They're making us good money still, so at least there's that. It's just unfortunate. Uh, some plans just don't seem to work out at times, and I'm just wondering what we've managed to break on those. We'll have to figure that out at some point. For now, we've got plan C, I guess. All right, so that's a wrap on that field. Things are looking pretty darn good. I'm excited about that. It's not exactly perfect, as you can see, but hey, you know what? We got things to work out. Yeah, I would have been nice just to plant, I agree. Anyways, let's put this back away here in the barn. And from there, guys, we're gonna get our plant on. It's time to get our plant on. Let's see if we can go plant this field, shall we? Let's jump in the international. We'll take the old international out this time and plant with that. That's probably better. That's gonna be, it's just for the best. Hook this bad boy on up. There we go. Get our hydraulics all hooked up. And uh, yeah, away we go. Let's uh, let's do this thing. I'll see you guys once we get this whole thing planted, all right? <laughs> oh, man. It would have been nice to just do this the first time. Oh, well, let's go. All right, so we have finished. Finally finished plant. You know, it wasn't that bad. We finished planting. Um, we did, of course, have to do the little trickery there because our direct drill was not working at the time. I think we might have fixed that. I'll talk more about that in a second, but um, do need to throw some lime down, of course. This is... Less than ideal at, uh, yeah, zero. Zero percent nitrogen. So, what, what, lime? Did I say lime? I meant, you know what I meant. You guys know what I meant. I meant nitrogen. You guys know what I meant. But, I mean, at least everything's planted right now that I can plant. I'm thinking, guys, I've, I've got 260. Oh, 69. Nice. Okay, so let's all open up our reading is fun books to page 69. 69. Uh, I've got some money we can go over into the far side there, maybe, and buy some more land. Let me go check out some prices here. Hang on. So there is quite a bit of farmland in and around our area here. And like I said, I was thinking about buying next to our main farm. Our main farm is right here in the middle. And like that's only $43,000, $44,000. That ain't bad. I could buy that. And maybe even there's a roadway that goes down here. You can see this roadway. I thought maybe if I bought that and up top, and then we can just kind of combine the two. Oh, I don't know if I want to be on the other side. You know, it doesn't matter. But... There are a few trees, not a lot of trees down in this area. We'll have to just kind of go knock down, make a little bit of money off those. But they're all relatively cheap, like around 50,000 bucks each one, a little less than, to be honest. That might be something we could do. I think that might be a good idea. Still got the bobcat in there. We could kind of just drag the trunks out of the way and make some new fields. Let's see what I can get done here, guys. Let's go to work. All right, made some phone calls. We've got the new land, uh, a little under 100,000, what, 90 to 90 grand, something like that is what we spent. Whatever, let's knock these trees down and uh, let's make a little room here, shall we? Um, what's the word we use for this? I think it's uh, something like timber! Oh, it was too soon, sorry. That'll work. Boom! Get off of my land. I need some farmlands. <laughs> Just out here cutting trees down and look what I find. Um, uh, apparently, I, I probably should be able to take this up to the recycling depot. How am I going to get all this? I think that car up there. Huh. That's interesting. <laughs> I don't know how to... I gotta get this all out of here at some point. How, where, uh, I'm pretty close to the edge of my property. I'm thinking maybe... like I'm. This is pretty close to the corner. Maybe this... We'll call this the corner for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be fine. Alright, that should do for the bottom section. We've got about a half... Maybe a little... Six trees, I think? I think we got six trees here. Uh, I'm just gonna trim these up. Get them ready. We'll bring the bobcat. Just, I'm gonna line them up onto that little dirt road. That's my plan, at least. We'll see how that works out. It might not work at all. Well, I don't have the power to lift these big logs with the bobcat. I can just kind of drag them around, which is kind of convenient. So I just want to get them in place, get them out of the way, so I don't need to deal with them later on. Um, or I'll, we'll deal with them later on, I guess I should say. Let's see if I can just drag this kind of like right here. But see, if I go to lift this up, it usually just kind of falls over on me. Yeah, see, it's just, they're just too heavy. So whatever, we'll just drag them into place for now. I can, I can always buck them up into smaller chunks too, right? Come on, square that away. Yeah, that'll work right there. So I'll make our pile on this roadway so we can easily come back here and grab these later on these are actually some pretty good trees so you know what they might be worth a few pennies grabby grab that's oh, hopefully you're not stuck on a log oh you are too i lift you just to get it above yeah there we go just gotta be delicate that's all just be super delicate uh i realize there's gonna be a problem at some point but we'll be fine we'll be fine as long as we don't have to drive over anything like i think i'm going to here 
Can I drive over this? What happens? Eh, I didn't think so. Whatever. It's, it's in the spot. It's where we need to be. Oh, once again, I did a horrible job estimating how many logs I was going to get off this. I mean, we did a pretty decent job of clearing stuff off. You can kind of see... Well, we're right at the end here, but we're going up to the, the top up there. It's just a lot of logs. <laughs> Look at how many there are there. This is somewhere pretty awkward to drag down here, too. And then, of course, the scrub poplars, I decided just to buck up into tiny little pieces so I don't have to deal with them. You know what? You get them, you get them small enough, they just kind of disappear, which is exactly what we were doing. Just turning them into sawdust, really, is what it comes down to here. Let's see if we can get rid of all these shrubs. I don't want to deal with these. Do you? I don't think so. Brutal, right? Just get rid of them. Get out of here. We don't... Sawdust. Your, your earth food, I guess, again. <laughs> yeah, guys, those little scrub trees just aren't worth it by comparison to these ones here. So that's been my focus. Those little poplars, the scrub trees, i just been chopping them all up. Down to nothing. And then... Wait, wait, why did that not close? Hang on, hang on. Oh, it is closed. It just... No. Hmm... Those little forks don't like to hold on sometimes. They they kind of give up a little bit too easy at times, I swear. Like, you, you think you've got it. it. Put those down as far as they go, but then it does that little thing where it doesn't quite hold on to them. This is pretty heavy, mind you. I guess, what do you expect? Anyways, it is working for the most part. Let's get this back down. Uh, I think that's it for trees. I'm going to go get rid of the logs or the uh, the stumps in here, and we're going to start tilling up this field. All right, I think we are good to go. Let's we'll see if we can get this field planted. We don't have a lot of time, of course. See if we can get this done today. It's uh, part of my goal is hopefully we can expand this field, of course, as we discussed. We don't have enough enough feed from what we're getting off this. This is just not enough. We get only a third of what we really need for feed, at least with wheat. So hopefully by uh, reclaiming some more land here and being able to plant some more fields, now roughly what we purchased is probably about a third more than what we have. So it's still not going to be enough, but it, it's, it's going to help. Every little bit's going to help, right? Um, you know what? I don't have this staked out. I'm going to have to see how far we can go north here. I also want to leave this that roadway intact so that uh, we can use that later on. We'll have to wait and see here. Let's see if I can just drop this kind of right there. And that's perfect. All right. Let's take this on up. And we're going to go as far as we can here. Oh, I guess that's as far as I can. And uh, we'll see how far we can get over this way. Now, this field kind of curves all the way down. Uh, we'll have to make sure we try and stay within uh, the boundaries of what we purchased, of course. So we'll be taking this a little bit easy as we kind of wrap our way around. And uh, th then we'll we'll expand it from there. I do have that roadway. You can see all the logs down below. I've, that's where everything's stored for right now. We've got to make sure we keep that all there so we can come pull these out. Uh, hopefully this winter is my plan. Oh boy. Yeah, this is going to be a good sized field, I think. All the way down to the far end. You can see the tree line way down there. That's where I got to get to. Oh, trying to guesstimate exactly where our land is is not exactly great. Not really happy about that. Uh, I really should have marked this out a little bit beforehand, but hey, whatever. Let's see if we can get right up to the corner here. We'll square this off a little bit at least. It's about where we're... Nope, not quite. We'll see how far we can get out. It's about right there somewhere. You can see we're right up against the edge. I actually did a pretty good job of that. I'm actually kind of happy with how close I got. Uh, let's follow this roadway up. Like I said, I want to leave the roadway here as much as possible so that, uh, yeah, we can use this later on we may use, it's it's kind of a good through fare actually to get over to uh the far side of the county as well so i'm trying to leave as much as i can here and plus we have that debris the debris well we gotta go back and look at that still too don't we oh so much better tearing these fields apart with uh this new case rather than the old international last time a little bit uh this disc carrier was a little bit bigger as well which makes things a little bit uh, easier i should say look at that getting some dust coming off the back looks good we'll get up to the log pile here and uh, then we're going to move down to the southern side, that next little section ahead of us. They're about the same size, really. This is actually technically the smaller one, but it feels like it's decent up top. We've got a lot of space up there. Oh, i got to fix that. Raise that on up. All right, we've got a little bit more space to go grab here. And uh, then I'll head down that way there and grab all that, guys. We've still got... Oh, i got logs I didn't get. Oh, well. Let's see how the, uh, let's see how the Harrower does on that. Uh, hopefully it won't break any, anything. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Oops. Oh, yeah, it's stuck. Totally stuck. <laughs> There's a tree stuck in the, in the harrower. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to get the chainsaw. Let's see if we can fix this right now. We got this. We got this. We can fix this right here. Just Let's just, just chop this on out. Yeah, see? Yeah, I'll get this one here as well. Just make sure we don't... There we go. Don't want to get them all stuck in between, right? You want to make sure you take care of all that. This one as well. There we go. Done. Fixed. Um, I think. There's stuff up here too. I don't think so i think that's it i think we're good all right a little bit more field added um oh let's jump over to this guy easy easy and we've got a little bit more still to go come on get that over top as well perfect 
All right, so we'll see. We can we got to trace out this field as well. There's a bit of a hillside here that can kind of guide me. I think is kind of on the uh, the edge of ours. So um, and I want to get this nice and close to the existing field, of course, as well, because we're joining these together. In fact, I need to make sure we're like right up against it. And since we're, we're replanting this today, uh, I'm not too concerned if I end up well taking out a little bit of field. I want to make sure we uh, we get everything we can here. Like I want to be right up against this field, right, right up against it. There we go. Make sure we're taking all the grass out so it's all one field. Uh, of course, here's all this garbage down here that I haven't dealt with yet. Um, you know what? We're gonna go around it for now. We're just gonna go around it for now. Uh, I, I feel like I, I could just try and make an island out of it, but it's just gonna be a pain if I do that. We'll just go around it. We'll shove some of the garbage out and away. There we go. And then we'll come deal with that later on. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Perfect. Ugh. All right, from here, I believe I can go, whoops, I can go straight towards the, uh, that little road up there, I believe. Once again, probably should have marked this. Probably should have marked this. Eh, we'll, fi we'll figure it out. It, it, and if it's not perfect, we'll just buy more land later on. Like, I can buy down this little valley here, and, uh, later on, it'll be fine. Just gotta go straight up here, right up towards the roadway, and as soon as we hit the road, I know that's the end of what we have and then we got to go back all the way to the field it's like a decent size little field right a little a nice little addition and let's try not to grab any logs in the way but i already grabbed one let's just see if i can get through all this without grabbing any more and shoving them into my own path now here i want to see if i can actually shove these ones over just kind of give them a little push hopefully uh oh no no no! i didn't want to climb uh it's okay it's okay it's okay it's it's working the way it's supposed to perfect all right all right and um just kind of angle this off all right that looks way better Cool, cool, cool. All right. Let me uh, finish uh, tilling all this up. And I need a lime. We need to plant this. And then we'll worry about fertilizing later on. we got to fertilize the main field that's already done as well. So we can do this all in one fell swoop if you uh, catch my drift. Oh, yeah, that's satisfying. Last pass. Love it. Oh, get rid of the shrubs. You're gone. All right, there we go. Let's get the lime in. Oh, that reminds me. I think we're a little low on lime as well. Um, huh can be a problem. Well, she's full, but I've only got, like, these bags only have a little bit in them each, I think. Yeah, and then, yeah, we don't have enough. We have to order some. I'll have it delivered here, though. And, um, is this overkill? This feels like this might be overkill. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Not bad. Uh, it's more suited for the international, but hey, not bad. But it goes through the lime so fast on these new fields. That's what you got to deal with, though, I guess, right? You know what? I think this is something we're going to have to upgrade at some point. And we need a bigger sprayer. This thing just takes forever. Uh, let's go get some more. I think I said sprayer. I meant spreader. S you guys know what I mean. Ma same, same. So as for our direct drill cedar there, guys, it was giving us all sorts of grief. Kind of figured out what the problem was. I said uh, we didn't know what it was earlier. Went back and took a look through and uh, figured out what the issue was exactly. And it was a simple mod. Advanced crop destruction. Enhanced? Advanced? Anyways, if you guys are using that one, you might run into some issues. Heads up on that. Uh, enhanced crop destruction is going to cause potentially some problems with the uh, direct drill seeders. I don't know if it's all of them. It seemed like it was a few of them I tested out. Not sure what's going on there. Anyways, just a heads up. All right, lime done on those fields. Let's go take out the international. We'll do some more planting with the international. Why not, right? Uh, I think it's still good, pretty good for seed. I think I got enough. Let's go take her out. Uh, should be enough. Uh, 751 liters. It'll be close. It'll be, it'll be close. I think it'll be all right. I hope it should be enough to get this top field done at least, right? I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. Fingers crossed. Easy does it. Let's just start right at the very top here. Fire this thing up. Drop her down as soon as we get off the concrete. And away we go. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Nice. All right. Oh, I know, I know. Come on. Just scooch over it a little bit. Just a, just a tooch. We're just a little bit too tight, I guess. Apparently, we need a bigger cedar, I think, guys, is what it's going to take for us to get sure we plant everything uh yeah we're a little a little high i guess it's okay maybe like right there right about there yeah there we go see found that we found the sweet spot nope did not find the sweet spot at all do you know what you're doing oh, okay there we go now uh, now i got it now we're good we just gotta be like five feet away from the, the edge of the field we made that's not gonna be good for weeds but hey what do you what do you do now um, I might have to take that north section over here in the corner here. I think that's going to be my plan, guys. That's the next thing we'll do. We'll do that later, though. This is all I'm going to do. I'm not going to get it done if I don't do this this today. I, I think we're, we're running a little short on time. I was worried we wouldn't... Oh, boy. Come on, please. Because I was worried I wasn't going to even get into this field at all today. I didn't think I was going to be able to add on today. 
But it seems like our time's working out fairly well. Uh, I, I should have probably done this maybe like a month ago. If we would have done this about a month ago, we probably would have been a little better off. But you know what? We, we were focused on our chickens. And uh, that's still going to be something going forward. In fact, I don't think this is going to be enough to feed our, our 10,000 head chickens as a heads of chicken. I don't know. What, what is that? What, what do you even call that? What do you expect? You got a guy who pretty much deals with cattle exclusively. Calls them chicken heads. Anyways, we've got our 10,000 chickens, and I, I don't think this is going to be enough food. We're going to find out, but we're going to have to wait a year almost before we figure that all out. Um, we've got uh, to buy some chicken feed, of course. We'll struggle through the year here. We're still making lots. I've still got a plan for increasing our the amount of chickens we've got. I mean, you can see our two chicken coops right there. Fairly substantial, but I mean, we want to we want to make we want it bigger. We want it bigger and better this farm. And uh, I've got a plan still ahead, but I don't think we're going to get to it quite yet. This is going to be it's probably going to be another year before we get to to the increase there. I want to see what we have for feed first. Go from there. If we're anywhere close, that's really going to be the determining factor. I think. Eh, maybe not. Maybe we'll, we'll we'll probably increase our yield anyways, let's be honest. Yeah, we need more chickens. Yeah, definitely not going to make this field. It, the thought going to be closer than it is. Oh, why did I do that? Wrong button, wrong button. Let's, let's just back this on up. Wrong lever. Make sure we're, we're straightened off. Uh, turn that back on. Let's try this again. All right, yeah, yeah. I only have 63 liters of, um, or, or of seed left. So if I even get done this pass, that might be amazing. You know what? I'll work on my uh, I'll work on my estimations later. We're we're doing all right. It's fine. We got, I think we got enough seeds still to, to finish off these two fields, so I'm not too concerned with that. It just would have been nice to be able to um, not have to stop in the middle of one. Right down to the end. Let's not hit our logs. You see? There we go. All right. Um, you know what? We're right here right now. Let's go fill this thing up. First field's done back there. The second portion of this field we're just kind of going through now. I think I've got enough seed. We've got, what, 57% left in here, 1,600 liters farming units. We should have enough, I believe, to get this field done, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I still don't think we're going to have enough, guys, for feed. That's really, even with all this, we'll find out, but I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, feed for 10,000 chickens is quite a bit. Uh, especially, especially when they're constantly making new chicks for us. It's going to be... It's going to be tough to get to that point. We'll have to work on this, I think. But you know what? We'll find out uh, next season, I suppose. Watch out for that car. Um, yeah, we'll see what next season, how it makes do. But I really don't think it's going to work for us. But whatever, we're looking pretty good right now. We finish off this, off this field, and uh, we'll catch up with you, hopefully, when this gets done. And then maybe we'll uh, look at fertilizing here before the end of the year. Uh, that is just off to feeding for the next little bit. Yeah, we got a, we got a lot of feeding still to do. Every single day, we got to feed those chickens. All right, that looks pretty darn good, if I don't say so myself. This farm is looking fantastic. Guys, I'm really, I'm not really liking this farm. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This is, um, you know what? I was a little bit caught off guard by how good this looks just now. Pulling in here, we got our our nuggy farm in the background there. We got balloons flying overhead. It's kind of hidden in the back country over here. I mean, the town's just you know a couple miles over that way there, but this is. Just a great looking farm over here. I'm really happy with this. Now, I want to take over all the land up in there. We're going we're gonna to buy some, annex some land, I should say, at some point, And uh, make this farm bigger. I'm sure it's going to have to happen. But that's it for September. We'll get some shut-eye, and uh, maybe we'll see if we can do some fertilizing here come the fall. Yeah, see you guys soon. Oh, man. All right. Well, I slept in just a touch. It's a, it's a beauty day for October, though, I'm telling you. And to be honest, I think I deserved it. I did some extra work yesterday. I cleaned everything up. Look at Look at my shop. It, it looks beauty in here. We organized the lime, organized the fertilizer over there. We we pressure washed all our equipment, guys. Everything's looking really good right now. Even made sure that our uh, chickens were nice, well fed. We still have about eh, ninety some thousand liters feed. It's not gonna last, but uh, you know what? They're looking pretty good down there. We got lots of chickens. You can see the money's still rolling in, guys. The, the dealers we've with deals we've hooked up for the eggs has been pretty darn good. So. Lots of eggs are going out. We're making a ton of cash. But our new fields I've got to take care of today. We're going to spray some, spread some fertilizer and then spray some herbicide, I think. We might do both. Um, yeah, expected yield's a little low right there. You can see bottom right there. So we'll get this all fired up and looking good. So let's jump in that case. We've got it all set up. Oh, actually, you know what? You guys notice something right there? Yeah, Clutch made a boo-boo. When I was messing with the direct drill, that planter or that cedar, it, um, it accidentally planted some canola. Yeah, I am. 
Yep. So we've got about, uh, what is that? 20 feet of canola. Great. I mean, it could be worse. It could be the whole stretch, but it's this much. Whatever. You know what? This is going to be, um, we'll leave this here. We'll make this very obvious because I'm just going to leave it here and we'll be able to make fun of myself for this whole harvest because of that. Ah, darn it. All right. Let's get the 340 out there. Let's go uh, spray this fertilizer quickly like. Uh, we're, you know what? We'll start with the canola. Sound like a plan? Away we go. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Perfect. All right. Um, so this will take me, uh, shouldn't take us too long. We can go pretty quick doing this. And then we'll spread some, uh, spray some herbicide as well. We got the, um, the hardy with, I believe we do have the spot and spray on that bad boy. So that should be relatively quick as well. Shouldn't take us too long to get through it all. Guys, I'm telling you, this farm is just awesome. I love this farm. <laughs> it's like, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's, uh, we need to make it a bit bigger at some point. It's just, I'm just really happy with like having the big mountains in the background, little calm farmland, farmland or farmland, farmland down here in the valley. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm pretty stoked about this. And that's going to about do it for this load. I'm going to go fill this up right away here. Uh, I had to buy a bunch of fertilizer as well. I was pretty much out, so we got eight, uh, eight bags delivered. And it's nice to be on our second harvest. We're not going through nearly as much lime at least. The lime was always, oh man, you go through so much in the first try. Uh, is that going to do it right there? Give or take, it looks like. We'll just go right over here. This should do it. Yeah, right there. All right. Let's go fill this thing on up back in the main farm here. Because notice how I said main farm, right? Like, I want to do this so I have, like, a main farm. And then, like, my house and farm area is kind of away from this at some point. That's kind of what my goal is eventually. I'd like to I'd like to have that. Can we do that? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's see if I can grab one of these. Come on. I just can't see it. If I go inside, let's just do this. Come on, just grab you. There we go. Thank you. Uh, is it going to go? Oh, yeah, it's just barely high enough. That's right. I always forget about this. You got to kind of force it in there. That's all. Oh, we, we lower this. It'll help, too. Kind of like so. And then, uh, yeah, just drive it on in. Mm. Oh, yeah, we got to, like, lift it in, don't we? It's, it's not, it's never, it's never that simple. Go, like, around. And then, like that. There you go. See? Oh, I missed. Let's try it again. Try it again. Try it again. And let's see, go this way here. And uh, there you go. See, that's how you do it. Right like that. See, perfect. There we go. That looks better. And away we go. Back into the field. Let's go finish off this field. I think we've got enough. We've got, what, five, six and a half bags left still. Should be more than enough fertilizer, I would think. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. There's still a lot of field to fertilize, though. A little bit left to fertilize. We got the stage. Well, you know what? The first stage of our growth is already... All our sprouts are coming up already before the winter, which is always good. Helps keep the frost away. And, uh, yeah, we should have a pretty good harvest off this. Hopefully, we can get it all fertilized, get our spray today even. And then, uh, you know what? The rest of my winter is low-key. You know what? I would do other jobs, but I really probably don't feel like doing that. I'm not going to lie. I think I'm just going to take care of our chickens. All right. Fertilizing's done. I think we got time to spray still today. I know rain's in the forecast, but uh, oh, whatever. Let's get the fertilizing done while we're at it, or the, the prefer herbiciding, I should say. And uh, yeah, this field to be like good. Look at how good these fields are looking. Well, they just, I mean, it, I know it's it's technically barley, but it just looks like fresh meadows out here. Look at that. It looks fantastic. Disconnect you. There we go. Drop that there. And you get to come with me. There we go. Connect that and PTO. Good to go. All right. So I do not have any extra herbicide on the farm right now. I'm, I don't think like we got spot and spray. It's usually fairly good, right? In theory. So we should be fine with uh, what we got here. Hopefully it's more than enough. Hopefully. And once again, we might as well start out our little canola incident. Um, why not? Let's fire this thing up. Let's go. Perfect. There you go. So this should go fairly quickly. Um, I mean, I'm not going to use a lot of, uh, hopefully not, not using a lot of our herbicide. Once again, looks like it's going to be pretty good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. I was a little concerned, but you know what? We've, we've paid to get our fields tested and analyzed. And now we, we've got the proper sprayer. We're using the right amount of nitrogen. We're using the right amount of herbicide. Like we're maximizing what we can over these fields. I just, I know it's not going to be enough still. There's no way. We still got to find a way to get a little bit more out of these fields. Maybe like double what we took out of this in this last little bit here, this last year. We need to almost double that. If that makes sense. I think if we doubled 
like that stuff that right back there that's all the fields we took over i think if we did that one more time i would i think that would be enough for well our current situation but let's be honest guys you guys know i'm gonna want to do more than what we got right you know i'm gonna do more than that oh that's enough choring for one day i think guys we are good i think everything's looking good our chickens are fed which is the most important thing now to worry about our all those chickens in there but our fields are well they've been maximized so um yeah we're gonna get we're gonna get the maximum yield off these from the new year well we, i mean we should have rolled them first but i'm not rolling fields come on hey even our canola is um gonna give me the most to can get out of the canola in this little patch right here yep no we're looking good for the winter so um you know what clean up the stuff put it away for this the uh the winter here and i think we'll just kind of hold tight status quo until the new year i think we'll see how we do on those chickens if things go well well we'll see where we're at we'll get to harvest and uh see if we get enough food for those chickens and see what we need to do next year but guys we are good to go i'll see you guys in the new year oh i got lots of feed to do holy well guys it's january welcome back and we're about to run out of our chicken feed i've got maybe uh one trailer full after this but i think that's all i've got full so I, I might make it through um, January, but February is going to be the end of it, it looks like. And I'm going to have to start buying, which is unfortunate because that means I've got to drive to town. I've kind of been hunkered down here. Hasn't been too bad, though. The snow hasn't really hit us that much yet. But yes, we are sitting on almost a million. We'll be on a million bucks, I think, by the end of January. So we've got lots of money. The money isn't a problem right now. The chickens are definitely making us some sweet, sweet cash. But uh, I do want to get a better trailer. This old trailer, this old truck. Yeah, I'd like to upgrade to a proper truck and trailer, maybe would make this job a little bit easier, especially if I've got to drive to the city to go pick up chicken feed. But I mean, realistically, everything's looking pretty good here, guys. We're doing well. I'll see you guys, I think, uh, come the spring, maybe even the summer, once we can get to harvest season here. And we'll see how well we do. Oh boy, with our field. Hopefully it's it's a little bit bigger than uh, what we got, because we're only making it to January this year, it looks like. What do you do? All right, guys, well, June's here. Look at our fields, ready to harvest. I've been... Working the chicken nuggies for the last, uh, oh man, four months of just constantly running feed. We're going to talk about that some more still. Yeah, it's a little bit on the ridiculous side, but successful for sure. We're almost 1.6 million bucks. We'd have substantially more if, um, well, I didn't run out of feed, to be honest. We could talk a little bit more about that. Like I said, we could figure that out really quite well now that we've gone through so much of this. I'm looking forward to actually um, getting more more, more feed, that's for sure. Also, it's time we um, we upgraded this bad boy right here, this trailer. It's been good to us, but like I said, I needed something a little bit bigger. So we just upgraded to um, a strawman. So this should help us a little bit with our harvest, as well as just general feeding. Those chickens take so much feed, guys. It's ridiculous. So last year, of course, we got the 340. So that's really going to be what's going to help us accomplish that. How to get the tractor first, of course. So we're going to get this prepped up. We'll get that case into the field here right away. But it's harvest season. It's it's harvest season. Finally, it's um, looking forward to actually having my own my own feed for a bit here. I still, once again, don't think it's going to be enough. But we're going to find out together to see how close we are to getting that. It's probably, uh, I think it might be more than 300,000 now, to be honest with you. All right, 7 o'clock in the morning. We've got the 340s fired up, ready to warm. It's all good. The uh, 70, 7250s warmed up. I think it's time to get into this field, guys. I, let's, let's get her done. Bitter patter. Let's go. Of course, once again, I might as well start where the canola is. Um, let's see if we can go around the canola. I'll see if I can actually save that and maybe harvest it just for funsies. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go. Into the field we go. Oh, boy. I can't believe that canola still. I am still upset with myself over this. <laughs> oh well, it worked out. It, it's still there. We still got still got the canola. Oh, oh watch out for that. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Alright, let's go. Gonna be a little bit of work, of course, to get through this. Um this harvester goes through pretty darn quick, though. Let's be honest, guys. I am not concerned at all. We should be uh we've got the barley, of course. We've got a straw swath coming off the back, so we will bale this, make the extra money off the bales. But other than that, like really even this field, which is getting to be a good size now that we've taken so much more land over, doesn't take us that much time. I think maybe, you know what, because like I said, we've got 1.5 million bucks almost right now. So by next year, we can expand this field considerably, I, I think. We've got the equipment I need right now. I wouldn't mind getting a bit of a better planter. And maybe from there, we'll see. We'll see if we can maybe expand this a little bit more. Oh, yeah, there we go. Already 25%. 
actually getting a pretty good yield off this sweet oh man this is a great cut right now i am uh, this is actually really quite a quite a bit more than we got last time i feel i feel like we're diving into this a little bit more this time the barley hopefully will uh will help us out a little bit there with the chicken feed as well but yeah it seems like we're eh, we're almost full already feels pretty good so far guys we'll see if we get more than that i mean we only had hundred thousand last time at least we need to be able to get like closer to 200 i don't know if that's gonna happen but we'll see it's looking pretty good i, I gotta go with the tractor actually speaking of which just get around this corner okay yeah i feel like we definitely got more last time oh boy this is gonna be a tight push oh there we go there's not quite as maneuverable as the other one but anyways um like i said i have not even done a headline or anything i'm just kind of just starting to cut in a little bit here yeah still we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see i'm not uh i'm not holding my breath yet but you never know it could be a substantial amount here by comparison fingers crossed i'm gonna back this right on in we'll go right up against it and uh load up that way oh man you can see all the barley on top of that almost got some cab barley there all right should be good perfect right there that'll work all right a little bit of a slow and low process but not too bad let's uh let's go drop her in time to go oh man yeah definitely uh it's definitely a little bit higher yield for sure but i mean we did do a lot more to our fields this time like i said we had we were maximizing the yield up in this part here the soil is not so good uh i i think we're only getting about what is it 90 percent? i think it said the yield potential out of here so the soil up in this neck of the woods on this this north side here is not nearly as good as the stuff down on the back end but it's still whatever we're gonna take of course we're gonna take what we can get there's nothing we can do about the soil type so that is what it is all right so let's talk a little bit about why i'm trying to make all this feed again so like you guys know i, I need to feed the chickens of course I gotta feed the chickens and i don't make enough feed for them so currently on months where I don't have any of my own feed, I'm spending about a hundred anywhere between ninety to one hundred twenty thousand dollars on chicken feed. One hundred twenty thousand dollars on chicken feed? Come on. Yeah, so it, it gets a little expensive. So you can imagine um, why I do like to have not have to pay for that. So one hundred twenty thousand dollars is just being out the drain for chicken feed. If I can make the chicken feed myself, of course, that's going to end up being about five hundred thousand dollars a year that I'm going to save if you do the math really I mean we ran out in January last last year and um it's June now is harvest now that being said you gotta remember we're harvesting barley and not wheat so we're about technically a month ahead anyways regardless of which if I can find a way to save that that's gonna be a half a million dollars a year that I'm gonna have in my pocket instead of having to spend it on chicken feed you guys picking up what I'm throwing down oh don't hit the car don't hit the car don't hit the car let's see, just get around the corner oh it did that that stupid garbage in there better rabble rabble actually think I did pretty good there guys I think I'm happy oh come on yeah I know it's not mine well it's kind of mine but not really so now like I said I'm I'm really doubting that I'm going to have enough to get well like the 300,000 of course that I need roughly 300,000 liters uh I think it's a bit more than that actually but anyways look at the fields down here these don't look great like it goes down into a, a bit of a ditch down there you've got some pathways there's a road on the far end there's a highway down that way but on the far side of the farm you go up that little like up that hillside up there that looks not bad i think that might be the way i go plus we're gonna go to the north a little bit here too i think we're gonna kind of expand this area as much as we possibly can we're, we're getting there i mean it's a pretty good size field what do you guys think pretty good size right just watch out for all the logs i knocked down don't hit those clutch don't hit those it's all i need to do is start dragging all the deadfall in here now um nice and easy just get up nice and close without see there you go best driver farms and right there right there right up against it just a little brushy brush took care of it oh this one is this one right in the field this could be uh a little more than i bargained for here we'll have to go over this side oh oh no 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 oh no Okay, hang on, I gotta fix this. Yeah, this one here is like right out in the field. Plus, there's a second one right here. Um, we might have to figure something. You know what? I can just kind of roll it. We can just roll it. Yeah, just give it a little roll. Kind of roll it out of the field, right? Just, just roll it. There you go. It's not that heavy. That's it. Is this anything else in the field? That looks good. I think we're fine now, right? I, pr I probably should have sold this off in the winter if I remembered I had all this deadfall out here. Oh, it looks like we got our first full trailer. In fact, this is. Not bad, 52,000 already. Looking good, looking good. It's not going to be 300 though, there's no way. All right, first load into the silo off this harvest. Let's open this bad boy on up and uh, dump it on in. Man, I do like this this, uh, this silo system. Love that. Oh yeah, that's great. All right, first dump of the trailer. 
Strava's doing what it needs to do. Perfect. That's pretty quick as well, actually. That's nice. Down to our last couple passes. All right, so we've unlo unloaded twice. Plus, I've got a little bit in there right now. Uh, so we're looking at like 150,000-ish, maybe? Or three times. We've unloaded three times. Is that right? I think we've done it three times. Oh, man, I've lost track. That's not good. I can't figure out two or three anymore. It must have been three. Anyways, we're, I think... Hey, what no, Drop the head. There we go. I must have gotten three because I think I, in my head I'm thinking like 175,000 uh, farming units of the barley. That's what I'm thinking we got. I hope that's what it is at least. So once again, still need to, I need to double up guys. I need to double up what we're getting off this. That's still not nearly enough. Uh, it's a good sized field though. It looks pretty. All right, last empty of the harvest. That's all I got. It's almost weird harvesting in June, but it is what it is. That's all we got, guys. Um, we'll have to bail this later, but we'll go check to see how much we've got in the silo. <sighs> I think I'm not even close, unfortunately. All right, let's just dump this in and we'll see what we've got. Oh, boy. Guys, I'm just losing money hand over fist on feed, unfortunately. We've got to find a way to get more of this. I think I've really got to focus, I think, next year on just just getting as much as I possibly can. Like, we're, we're getting better, but man, it still seems like we're a ways off. Let's go take a look. Let's see here. Silo system. That's not right. There we go. 186,000 liters. Not bad. 186,000. Like I said, I want a 300 is my kind of rough estimate of what we'll need. Uh, yeah, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. Anyways, I think uh, I think that'll do it for our work today. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you drop a like and don't forget to subscribe if you're new so you don't miss out when we get back into this series some more. And of course, uh, channel members, you guys are amazing. Cheers to you guys. Appreciate you guys. Uh, if you haven't seen the first episode, I'll put a card at the end here. And uh, if there's a new episode out on this series, I'll make sure that card's up here as well. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Clutch. Over and out. Oh, so much. Need more. Or more nuggies. Give me the nuggies.